Hi students, welcome back. In the previous videos, we studied vector spaces and did some examples on them. Let's see what are subspaces. We will first define a subspace. If we are given V to be a vector space and S is some subset of V, then S becomes a subspace if it satisfies the two closure properties which we have already studied for vector spaces. Then S is a subspace. Now, if we have to find whether the subset S is a subspace or not, many a times it is easy to check whether S contains the zero vector of V or not. Or in other words, whether the additive identity exists or not. Let's do some examples. If S is a subset of elements of the form A3A. Now this is a subset of the vector space R2. Here A is a scalar. Then such a subset will form a subspace. If we take two L vectors from S, A3A and B3B and add them, we'll see the end result is again a vector of the form given in S. And if we multiply the vector by alpha, some scalar, again it will belong to S. So both the closure properties are satisfied and hence the subset S forms a subspace under the two operations of R2, the scalar addition of vectors and scalar multiplication. Let's see another example. The subset S of two vectors of the form AB, such that modulus of A is equal to modulus of B. Such a subset will not form a subspace. If you, we take two vectors 1 minus 1 and 1 1, they both will belong to S. Then if we take the first vector, the property mod A is equal to mod B is satisfied. And if we take the second vector, again the property mod A is equal to mod B is satisfied. But if we take the sum of these two vectors, we get the vector as 2, 0 and the property mod A is equal to mod B is not satisfied as modulus of the first element 2 is 2 and the modulus of the second element is 0, they both are not equal. Here, closure with respect to addition is not satisfied, hence it does not form a subspace. Let's take another subset S of R2. Here, the set S is of points in R2 which lie on the line Y is equal to minus 3x. It will form a subspace. Now, you have seen Y is equal to minus 3x, which means we have the vector X minus 3x because Y value is nothing but minus 3x. So, all the vectors in S will be of the form x minus 3x. Let's take two more vectors from S and add them. If we take u minus u, 3u and v minus 3v which belong to S and add them, we'll get the vector as u plus v minus 3u plus v and it will be in S. So the closure property is satisfied with respect to addition. Let's multiply the first vector u minus 3u by alpha. This will give us alpha u minus 3 alpha u. Again, it will belong to S because these points will satisfy the equation y is equal to minus 3x. Here we can see this is a line in the plane and it will pass through the origin because when we substitute x is equal to 0, y will become 0. In other words, the identity, the additive identity 0, 0 belongs to S. Hence, S is a subspace of R2.
Let's take another example. If S is a subset of vectors of the form xy, where the condition is that both x and y are greater than or equal to 0. That is either they are 0 or they are positive. Now, this is not a vector space. If we see the property of closure with respect to scalar multiplication will not be satisfied. Alpha, if it is positive, the property is satisfied. If alpha is negative and multiplied to some vector, let's say we multiply alpha to xy. We'll get alpha x, alpha y. And as alpha is negative, both alpha x and alpha y will become negative, which is not what should have been satisfied for the vectors of S. According to that, alpha x and alpha y should have been greater than or equal to 0. So closure with respect to scalar multiplication is not satisfied. S is not a subspace. What if we take in the next example a subset S of polynomials which are all of degree less than or equal to 5 such that the derivative of those polynomials is equal to 1 when 4 is substituted. This will also not form a subspace. If we take P and Q as two polynomials from the subset, then P dash 4 will be 1 and Q dash 4 will be 1. If we add the two polynomials and take their derivative, it should satisfy the above property, but it does not. We can see P plus Q dash will be P dash plus Q dash over 4 and this will give us P dash 4 plus Q dash 4 and this equals 2 which is not equal to 1 hence S is not a subspace. Let's do the last example. If S is a subset of vectors of the form 2a0, 3b minus c, we can see it's a point in the space R3. If we take two vectors from this subset S and add them, it will again give us a point or a vector of the above form, so closure with respect to scalar addition is satisfied. Now if we multiply the vector by a scalar, it will again be of the above form, 2 times alpha A, 0, 3 times alpha B minus alpha C. So again it belongs to S and the property of scalar multiplication is satisfied. Hence it forms a subspace. Thank you.